good morning to all today my name is today let me introduce myself my name is neha sudin i am working as assistant professor in department of computer science and it in sirt the sage group so today i am going to talk on the topic that is classification of computers so what is a computer a computer is basically it is an electronic device that works on the information which is given by the end user yes or no okay so depending on the classification of computers computer are divided on by its category first is by the size and capacity second is by data handling third is by based on the number of microprocessors and fourth is by based on number of users so if we'll come to first point that is by size and capacity it means that what is the storing capacity of your working system and how much it can store second is data handling data handling in the sense how your data is interpreted inside your system okay and third is by based on number of microprocessor microprocessor means it is generally an integrated chip so how many microprocessors we are going to use in a particular system that is how your system is going to be divided and fourth and last is how many number of users a person a specific system can utilize next process so these are the various types of computers so we will switch to next part okay so these are the basic designs on that i'm going to teach you first is your micro computer second is your mini computer third is your personal computer fourth is super computer fifth is your laptop and sixth is your tablet by design you you can see the difference between various computers like micro computer it was basically it was used in previous uh, in uh, decades where the system was in large size be the size of your keyboard and your display monitor mini computers it is now it is used in some part in day to day life also personal computers is generally laptops which we use or desktop computers which we use in our day to day life super computer by the side you can see it is a very heavy workstation which is it is generally used in industrial purposes laptops which you carry in your day to day life it is portable and it is easy to carry that is why we carry laptops tablets tablet is just a uh, it is a form of computer but its size is is thin and it is portable so classification of first is your personal computer in personal computers it is the categories are your micro computers and your laptops and desktop so laptops are generally which we carry that i told you in design pattern second is the desktop desktop is which uh, which you are you will be working in your labs that you have separate processor separate keyboard and monitor attached workstations it is generally used in uh, schools rooms it is used in industrial purposes in companies and it is having number of users in workstations that can use is very high then again after workstation the third classification of computer is your mini computer where the number of users in mini computers are less basically 10 to 100 users can be capable of using such computers it is generally used in banks government departments etc then main frame computers are very powerful computers its processing speed is very high and n number of users can access the main frame computers so last one is your super computer which is an extremely fast computer it can handle maximum numbers or millions of instructions and it can it is the most powerful computers among all the computers which you have seen earlier it is generally used for weather forecasting getting your graphical condition scientific research in such conditions we are using super computers that's it from my side okay thank you Thank <laughs> you.